Greetings, one and all two universes. In this show, we will analyze the stats, weapons, and abilities of two fighters to see who would win in a battle to the death. Many people have predicted the outcome, so let's see who guessed right and who guessed wrong. Be sure to stay tuned after the episode so you can see the next fighters and make your predictions in the comment section below or in a video response. And who knows, your comment or video response could be featured in the next episode. With all that said, let's meet our two fighters, Crash Bandicoot and Diddy Kong. The two mute, food-shooting, jetpack-flying, half-dressed animal protagonists of video games. But while these two may have plenty of similarities, there's one huge difference. Only one can win in a fight. So let's find out which one that is. This is Universes. How clumsy does a villain have to be in order to create their own nemesis? Apparently as clumsy as Dr. Neo Cortex because that's exactly what he did. His plan to create an army of super mutants to help him conquer the world led to the creation of Crash Bandicoot. Now Crash being the little goofball that he is probably would have left Cortex alone by this point. But there was just one problem. Cortex still had his girlfriend. So it was up to Crash to travel across a few islands, don't even ask me how he got that far away from just falling out of a castle window, and save his girlfriend. He succeeded and since then it's been Crash versus Cortex in a constant battle between good and evil. All across the globe, all throughout time, with reality warping parrots, with gigantic mutants in a horrible redesign that looks like a DeviantArt furry collection, and well, I sure you get what I'm saying by now. Crash is always there to save the day. Being a platforming hero, Crash is obviously good at jumping. He can even double jump or slide jump to increase his height. While in the air, he can spread out his body and slam on the ground so hard that it shatters steel crates. Then, of course, there's his trademark move. He can perform a quick spin that can launch gigantic enemies away. He can even do this in the air to glide. Now, normally, this only lasts one to two seconds, but in Crash of the Titans, he gained the ability to literally spin forever. It's not just these crazy moves he has, though. He also has weapons as well. He can launch Wampa Fruit out of a giant bazooka or even just throw them if the enemy's close enough. He also has a powerful mask that holds the spirit of a witch doctor named Aku Aku. It allows him to take a few more hits than usual, and he can use it as a bubble shield or even a surfboard. Thanks to this magical mask, Crash can also pocket a gigantic arsenal of mutants with all kinds of special powers. One that can make spikes come out of the ground, one that can shoot projectiles from a distance, an ice manipulator, a telepathic one, a slime monster, any mutant you could possibly think of, Crash has it. Don't even know why he needs them though, considering that he's capable of beating all of them thanks to his combat skill and strength alone. An example of this strength would be how he was capable of throwing Wumpa Fruit hard enough to destroy Engine's robot. In fact, he can even reflect projectiles from Cortex which are strong enough to destroy parts of the evil twin's deathbot. He's also faster than Cortex who is already quick enough to dodge point-blank lightning. And Crash himself has good enough reaction timing to control a cart that at its fastest can outpace missiles. Crash also has quite a bit of Toon Force, allowing him to survive several falls, even from castle windows, a TNT explosion powerful enough to sink engine ship and send Crash flying a great distance, and surviving being inside Cortex's space station as it fell from space and crashed into Wumpa Island. All these crazy feats could only come from someone who's battled steroid-fueled tigers, a flamethrower-wielding dingo-crocodile hybrid, and a mentally unstable kangaroo. And that someone is Crash Bandicoot. Now let's have a look at what Donkey Kong's crazy little monkey pal can do. You know, stealing the girlfriend of a little Italian guy and then throwing barrels at him on top of a construction site is a pretty easy gig. Trust me, I should know. It's a steady starting job for any type of Kong. However, there's more to apes than just throwing barrels. It can be about bananas too, which are a much bigger deal. When something threatens their delicious fruit, the Kongs may need a little bit of help. And this is where Diddy comes in. In fact, this little Kong even got his own turn in the spotlight. Beating crocodiles and saving Donkey Kong himself. And... Uh, okay, I'll be honest with you guys. I can't fill up Diddy Kong's bio section of the script. He has no story. He has no plot. This Kong can't fill up the bio spot. He's Donkey Kong's Luigi. His tails. His kin. Like the Street Fighter kin, not the Barbie kin. That would be weird. But you get the point. So, let's get into the good stuff. As a monkey, Diddy has some pretty great agility. He can hop, climb, and swing on just about anything. And he's definitely super quick. He can roll into enemies and even throw giant barrels like his big buff buddy. He can launch himself towards his foes and latch onto their face to perform any attack he wants. Scary thing, this is something actual monkeys do. It's really quite terrifying. As mentioned previously, Diddy loves his bananas, also like a real monkey. He doesn't quite care for the peel though, so he accidentally tosses it aside for his enemies to slip on, leaving them open for another attack. Not quite as terrifying as mauling your 
their face, but still not very fun. This is where the real world monkey similarities end though, as Diddy has quite a few handy tools in his arsenal. He has a peanut pop gun that fires tasty nuts from a long distance. However, charging this baby up for too long leads to an explosion that turns Diddy black with ash and his opponents red with blood. Okay, maybe not because it's a kid's game, but I bet it still hurts. For mobility, he has a rocket barrel jetpack that he can pull out of nowhere to fly at blinding speeds. In fact, his rocket barrel jetpack is so fast that it can fly him into the outer atmosphere in just 5 seconds. That's a massively hypersonic speed feat right there. And Diddy is also faster than Donkey Kong himself, who can punch so quickly that his fists catch on fire at speeds of Mach 5. He can dodge gunfire from King K. Rool's musket and beat the big bad boss along with other gigantic bosses. One even had the power to freeze over several islands. Diddy may be small, but he can do a lot and take a lot. In fact, he even survived a blast that launched him into space. And if that wasn't enough, while he was in space, his rocket barrel jetpack went out of control, sending him crashing headfirst into a very, very small moon, so hard that it fell out of orbit and crashed into the island, saving the banana horde. Okay, yeah, it was way smaller than an actual moon, but you gotta admit it was pretty impressive for a little guy like him. Without his little buddy Diddy, Donkey Kong would still be trapped in King K. Rule's place. But will Diddy make it out of this fight alive, or will he crash and burn? Let's take a look at your predictions while I calculate the results. Corn O'Keefe here, folks, bringing you my next prediction for the next universes. As you can obviously see, Crash Bandicoot versus Diddy Kong from, uh, DK Donkey Kong I might have to go with Crash on this now Diddy Kong is pretty dang durable I will give him that I'm pretty sure if I'm not mistaken he's taken a hit from Donkey Kong himself and if if I'm not mistaken that's uh, pretty durable to say the least then you got a guy like Crash Bandicoot he's over bashing through steel crates and uh, wooden crates Spinning through all kinds of crazy stuff. Going up against Dr. Cortez and all that kind of goodness. Taking those kind of badasses on. Um, he's a super enhanced bandicoot. You know. So out of the two, Diddy Kong is pretty durable and he's pretty... I'd give him... He might be pretty tactical too for what he is. He has like these guns also that shoot out on uh, peanuts or something something similar to that like on super smash bros he can take some hits but all together i'm going with crash bandicoot simple fact he'll crash he'll just crash right into you <laughs> no corn will keep out peace Hey guys, Dr. Bacon here, and today I'll be discussing the next episode of the universe, Crash Bandicoot vs. Diddy Kong. So I think Diddy Kong could win because he did survive an explosion that did launch him to the moon, and Crash Bandicoot never la got launched to the moon and survived. But Crash has his Crash Dash, Double Jump, Spin, Sneak Shoes, Death Tornado, Body Slam, Supercharged, Supercharged Body Slam actually, the Slide Attack, the roller brawl, super slide, super slide, rocket jump, spin dismount, the spin punch, and my most favorite one is the crash dance, is because it's hilarious. Diddy Kong does have uh, his wall crawling, the peanut pop gun, banana peels, good agility, rocket barrel boost. Speed, barrel jump, and the Diddy side. So, and he could use his speed to like run around in circles around Crash, and yeah. So that, that's why I think Diddy Kong should win the next episode of the universe. So if you did like this video, comment, like, and subscribe to see more universe predictions or death battles, and give me your ideas who you think will win Diddy Kong or Crash Bandicoot. And so I will see you in the next video. Bye. Hey guys, that's it here with another video. Normally I don't do these, but Universe has just done a battle which I'm going to enjoy. So it's called the Battle. I don't know why I'm doing this battle. I just love these characters a lot. Normally I don't want to do these. I was thinking about doing J Jack versus Jasper, but nah. 
Now, time to show the next battle. Dun dun dun, Crash versus Diddy Kong. So yeah, it's Diddy Kong versus Crash Bandicoot. This is gotta be... Um, I don't know what Diddy Kong brings to the table besides his peanut gun. I don't know much about Diddy Kong. All I know is that he has barrels and that he has uh, those like uh, peanut guns. Those are the only things that I know. I want to make this a pretty short video. But I might side with... Yeah, but Crash, he has... I don't know. This is a really even matchup when you think about it. I don't know why he's putting those two up. It's a really good matchup. But if he's going to use the fictional fights, all that stuff, I'm going to say Crash. But if not, then I I don't know. I'm not 100%. Zero. I don't know. But the only thing I can say about it is that uh, in Super Smash Bros, Diddy Kong has a, has a like jumping move where he be like, and then he grabs you. Yeah, funny move, but we got to make these like those short videos. So... For so far, I might say crash. I don't know much. Got research and bye, guys. And the results are in. The winner is Diddy Kong. Ah, you guys are driving me crazy. Did you see how close that pole was? I was on the edge of my seat. But only one could win, so let's have a look at why. Alright, alright, so I know the first thing on everyone's mind. Diddy Kong's Moon Feet. Yes, it was an alternate ending, but if I recall correctly, didn't I take GTA 5's alternate endings into account when discussing the results of that episode? Besides, it was still in a canon game, and if alternate endings weren't allowed, do you know how little fighting game characters could actually be used in these debates? And finally, while that moon Diddy Kong crashed into was very, very small, it was very, very small for a moon. That thing was still the size of an island. No amount of feats or tune force that crashed Crash Bandicoot has would give him the destructive capacity to do away with Diddy Kong's durability. Next is their mobility. As a monkey, Diddy Kong is already naturally more agile as he can jump, swing, and climb his way through just about any terrain. But even his weapons are more mobile as well. Diddy can jump and aim his peanut pop gun with ease while Crash has to stop and slowly turn his bazooka. Crash's ability to aim would be especially difficult to pull off anyways considering the massive speed advantage that Diddy gets from his rocket barrel jetpack, which allows him to fly into space in mere seconds. Yeah, Crash has flown a jetpack a few times, but he can't summon or pull it out of nowhere, plus it's nowhere near as fast as Diddy's. Now Crash's titans are impressive and give him quite a large arsenal to work with, but what good is that when they're not strong enough to get the job done? Plus, once again, there's Diddy Kong's mobility advantage. He'd be able to keep away and damage Crash from a distance, while Crash's only projectiles take forever to aim aim, and his titan's projectiles take forever to charge. And while Crash's durability is somewhat decent, it's not enough to outlast Diddy. Crash survived the destruction of a space station which was just about the size of a building. Meanwhile, Diddy survived crashing into an island-sized moon so hard that it fell down to Earth. So with his superior stats and the ability to play the keep away game, Diddy can outmatch Crash's gigantic arsenal. The winner is Diddy Kong. Get ready for the next battle. And now, for something I promised I'd give you a long, long time ago.